join me with the Elantra. Uh, it's been a little while since the last episode, so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update as to what is happening with the car. In the last video, you saw us change the oil and get the car up and running. Then we took it for a little drive and one of the belts happened to explode. That was what the smoke was at the end of the video. Um, we have done some work off camera, uh, mainly because I've been working just about full time, as has Devin, my friend. He's been working a lot. Um, so to try and work on the car and film is tricky. So we've just been focusing on working on the car. Plus, I personally have really just been enjoying working on the car rather than filming it and trying to get it to YouTube. Uh, anyways, what we have done thus far now uh, that you haven't seen on, uh, on camera, we replaced the rear brakes. There wasn't much left of those, so we thought we'd get those, the pads and the rotors changed to, uh, back there. We also replaced all the drive belts. I figured if one exploded, you know, the others might as well. So we got all those replaced. Uh, I also replaced the AC. Uh, the compressor gave it a recharge, and now the AC is blowing ice cold, which is great. Um, what was my main goal with uh, trying to pour time, effort, and energy and money into this car. Well, number one, it's a manual, and I really wanted to learn manual. Um, I think that's an important skill in life, although it is something that is kind of dying over the last years. Uh, not many vehicles are stick shifts, but I still wanted to learn it quite badly, which I have done. I consider myself now a competent uh, stick shift driver. I wouldn't say I'm an expert by any means, but if I had to, I could jump in probably any stick shift vehicle tomorrow and be able to drive away no problem. Um, also, I really wanted to learn how to work on another car. This is a uh, Korean car. Uh, I've only had American cars in my driving driving career. I had a Pontiac Sunfire and then I've had my two Crown Vicks, which are all American. So I wanted something that was a little bit different, you know, kind of a new outlook on how cars are made. And lastly, uh, <clears throat> what do I want to do going forward? Number one, I want to get these last, uh, there's a few issues left that I have to fix. Uh, number one is the park brake. It just doesn't work whatsoever. Uh, and I also need to do some front-end work. Uh, the lower control arms need replacing. Uh, all the bearings and the ball joints, they need replacing in there, so I figured I'd just buy new ones. I have new ones on the way, um, so I'm gonna get that replaced. And after that, I plan on selling the car. I've had an absolute blast with it, and I absolutely love this little car, but uh, I wanna get you know some of the money that I've put into it back, so I plan on selling the car. Anyways, uh, I truthfully, I don't know how many more videos you're going to see of it. Um, like I said, I've been really busy with work and I'm just really enjoying just working on the car rather than having to film it and upload it as well. Anyways, I do hope you've enjoyed this little series. You might see more, you might not. I make no guarantees. Anyways, that's about all. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, have a good one.